I can already kind of tell that this needs to come this way, but that being said, uh, for now we're just we're just kind of putting the clamp on there, and then we're going to go and look at the front and see what the front looks like. Now at this point, um, what you want to do is, in addition to just kind of watching the distance here and the distance here and the gap all the way around, is also step back and look at the airplane because your eyes don't lie. And then look at this edge and this edge and compare it to the wings or to the rest of the plane. And then keep adjusting it up and down until it just looks right. And once you get this, then you want to go back to the other plane. buy a diamond or a carbide dust coated blade, not one with teeth. After that we're going to cut the front. And then even out the ups and downs. And as you can see it's already going higher here than there. So I'm going to get some spring clamps and I'm just going to without forcing anything, just clamp it so it'll allow it to go where it wants to go. It's still not very hard right now because we don't have any anti-chafing protection underneath here. But once we put a weather strip piece underneath here so it doesn't, because the fiberglass is very abrasive and it will wear into the aluminum. But once we have weather strip underneath here, then it's going to take a little more force to compress that to get the pin in which once we install this for the air cleaner to get air to the air cleaner then we can pull on that and this is also where our oil dipstick is going to come out so once this is flush here we can actually check the oil without taking the cowling off now we'll explain how to put this in oh there we go yeah, that's cool. there we go and what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out because that's going to fit over the prop flange here. Oh, really? You've got another one of those. So, next thing we do, this is my bottom one, is, is I put the two halves together. And I'll work real hard on a couple of things. One, we want this to run nice and even, at least I did. The bottom of the joggle is even with the top of the longer on there. Yeah, the bottom of the joggle is even with the top of the longer on. So you cut it. There we go. And there, that's. Now, we provide a single cam lock for the center back here. I'd, look, I'd rather go one or two. Okay, there. now I'll let you, when you get home, draw them where you want them okay. and put them in the corners. The things to consider if you go with two or any other type of latch is just remember your cam lock body, where's the hardware kit? Right here. Just think about it because you can get yourself into a corner if you're not careful. That's where it wasn't. Now, there's a couple of things to think about. If you do drill it in a corner, your screws will be at an angle also. Okay. We're going to now fabricate our forward baffle pieces that will close out the opening part of the cowl opening. This lower one will fit on the bottom and the smaller one will fit on the side. And we'll rough trim these and fit them and then we'll mark the opening and trim them a little bit larger than the opening.
we're ready to fit the cowling. Uh, the most important factor in fitting the cowling is to making sure that everything lines up primarily with the spinner on the, air, on the uh, airplane. Uh, you want a nice fit all the way around the spinner so that uh, you've got a good smooth airflow over here. You want to shoot for a, at least a quarter of an inch or so clearance between the cowling and the spinner in the final assembly. A little tighter if you uh, want to work with it more than that. But uh, there is relative motion between the uh, spinner, propeller, assembly and the cowling, so a little clearance there is a good idea. Establish the, the edge, the rear edge of the cowling so we get a good fit at the edge of the skin here. I'm going to put a piece of tape right at, right at the edge of the skin line, like so that we can draw on. Now if you take a simple compass like that, and I'm going to draw a line about an inch or so, maybe three quarters of an inch, beyond the skin and I'll use the compass as a guide to make that line. Now I know exactly this distance from the edge of the skin to the line and I'll do this all the way around to the, most, the entire top half of the cowling. Let me put the cowling back into position.